Hi, my name is Chuck Ingalls. I'm the Farm and Horticulture Advisor with UC Cooperative Extension in Sacramento County. And we're here again uh, to look at the results of the first batch of compost that we made from all these nine different bins. And I uh, wanted to just mention first that the starting materials that we used included straw, alfalfa hay, pine needles, pine shavings, grass clippings, and coffee grounds. We used these materials, many of them, the, the pine needles and pine shavings especially, were high carbon. That is high carbon, low nitrogen, or high carbon to nitrogen ratio. For instance, the, the uh, pine shavings had a carbon to nitrogen ratio very, very high, 180 to 1. Pine needles were less, 72 to 1. But then you get down to grass clippings, which were about 25 to 1. The results that we got are interesting. It took about, uh, about six to eight weeks before we had the final compost created. And the bins that we're in front of here are the, uh, the open standing bins rather than the tumblers. The bins in general had the highest temperatures recording up to 140 or more degrees. We also did a screening. So we had mesh, wire mesh that was quarter inch uh, squares in the mesh. What we found was that um, this Vespro, sorry, the Presto composter provided the greatest ratio of screened material to material that didn't go through the screen. So it did the best job of composting. It's all fairly close to the other bins, but this was our best uh, result with this one. We also did a visual rating. Uh, we looked at the compost and did a visual evaluation of them and found that the Presto was slightly better than any other. Um, and this one was second. This one is the, the home composter. The nice thing about it is it has a lid. But notice it doesn't have as much air circulation. Okay, you want that air circulation, and that's really good. But it does have a lid for the winter, so if it's raining a lot, this will protect your compost a little bit better and keep it a little warmer during the winter. This is the earth engine. And talk about good air circulation, great air circulation. Um, and it had uh, really good results also. It's just that the Presto, we found, did the best. So here we have our tumblers. What we found was um, they generally didn't, um, the, the bins are smaller, the containers are smaller. So uh, you have less mass and generally lower temperatures. And even in our current batch, we have our second batch going now, the temperatures are lower, slightly lower in the 130 to 140 degree range. And this is after only a week. Whereas our composters, the, the bins, are up to 160. So generally warmer on the bins. The Enviro cycle actually did fairly well. Um, at the end of our trial, we had pretty good compost made from this. So it worked pretty well. Um, the tumbleweed also, maybe not quite as good um, in our first batch. Notice the air circulation is not the best. There's only four holes here, and then there's four holes on the bottom. But talk about an easy way to turn a compost tumbler. It's very simple to turn it. Um, but again, you want good air circulation, and the tumblers just don't have quite the circulation that some of these standing bins have. So I wanted to talk about this Enviro cycle, which I have at my house, and I'm not uh, composting correctly. And I want to talk about the results of what happens if you don't add both green and brown material. So we started with material that was both green and brown. It included some straw, some clippings uh, from plants, as well as lawn clippings a little bit. And then we kept adding kitchen waste. And I never quite got around, even though I was spinning it, I never got around to adding leaves or straw or something else. We kept adding kitchen waste, uh, cut up vegetables, um, uh, greens that have gone bad in the kitchen. And so uh, what we ended up with is wet, sticky compost that doesn't heat up anymore. And it's really rather useless. It stinks. Um, but if you can give it some air and add some more green uh, uh, browns to it, then it would begin to make good compost. But so you can, you can mismanage compost piles or bins or, or tumblers just as well as you can manage them correctly. Mm -hmm.